Although we are not yet supporting you fully, but we are supporting you indirectly because when we, when we immunize you, uh, we, we bring this uh, UPE, we, we bring peace, like the, 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 the ch ch Chero, Chero teaches. They are no longer running around in Sebei, running from the Karamojong. So I think they have a good time to run around peacefully. So although we have not yet strictly focused on support, but the general background of, of peace and improvement uh, in itself, almost uh, spontaneously, throws up this talent. So after we have uh, sorted out some of the priority budget issues, the ones that deal with wealth creation, with the, trans with the transport, with the electricity, with the defense, we can focus more on uh, sports like uh, building stadiums in all the zones. Today, we have come together to bid farewell to our son, the former captain of our national football team, Mr. Dennis Onyango, which is a sad affair, and we know that there is nothing we can do about it. But talking from a mother's perspective, I'd like to ask you to allow me to speak honestly as one speaks to one's own family. Being African on planet Earth, I have, my, I have asked myself many times why we Africans are the ones who always believe that we can only prosper away from home while the majority of the global community run home to survive or to prosper. For us, we always believe in going away from home. Is it possible that it is because we believe that man lives because of bread alone, as the Bible says, which is why we never strive to explore the blessings that could be found at home. We need to build on what we start. We cannot grow if whoever we prepare leaves and goes away for greener pastures. Because we need the Onyangos to be the coaches of, of our new teams because I believe that's how nations are built. That is how those nations with super sports teams grow. Your Excellency and Mama, you are raising a very important point that touches us. Continuity of our own talents in Uganda and where Dennis has reached, like many others, to be redeployed in Uganda requires further development. When you finish playing, you also need to be developed to become a coach. So it is very important for us that one of the things we need to do for Dennis is developing him such that he can become a resource we can use. As soon as you stop playing, it does not automatically make you qualified to start coaching. There is another process which is sometimes very expensive, and Dennis who has served us very well, it will be very great for us if we can prepare him to be able to serve the nation at that level Mama is suggesting. I've, I've served the, the national team for over 16 years, and I believe that uh, there's 
new blood that comes through and they have the potential to take the team to the next level. That's why I, I retired and give them a chance, as, as I said. How old are you now? I'm 35. Yes, Excellency, that's the end of the matter to this 35 year old boy. Did you see it? Yeah. With your permission and that of Mama, permit me to say thank you. Your Excellency, I wanted to do a quick introduction. The third vice president and minister of state for youth is also a former player, Your Excellency, and Mama, and a former team cup chief executive officer at Copa. Uh, Commission of Physical Education and Sports, Lamex Omara by the chairperson, Dr. Donald Ukare. <laughs> don't start just just for picture. You leave. You not come out. Dennis, don't worry. Let this gentleman no, first. No, don't start. Don't start. Hmm? Thank you. 